hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make some oxtail lasagna so for the oxtail i'm going to braise it in a red wine sauce um, these are all the ingredients that i'll be using i will have them listed in the description box below with the approximate measurement i'll be using some green seasoning tomato paste celery onions bay leaf carrots and for my powdered seasoning, i'm just going to be using some oxtail seasoning and all-purpose seasoning nothing much but if this is a video that you're interested in watching please stay tuned for the rest of the video so my oxtail is already cleaned um i trimmed off all the fat washed it off with some lime and water i'm now gonna add two tablespoons of green seasoning to that and also my powdered seasoning which is just the all-purpose seasoning and the oxtail seasoning we're going to let this marinate for an hour before we start braising to the pot i'm going to add some avocado oil not too much because the oxtail itself still has some fat on there so that's going to produce oil and we don't want it to be too oily so get the oil hot and then we're going to start braising our oxtail we're going to cook it on each side for about 10 minutes then we're going to remove the oxtail from the pot and start adding our veggies now we're going to add our carrots onion celery to the pot we're going to saute this for about five to seven minutes we're going to cover and let it and let them get um soft and sweet then we are going to add our fresh thyme then we're going to add some tomato paste to the to the pot Add our beef broth and our red wine we're going to bring this to a boil before we add our oxtail back to the pot now we are going to return our oxtail to the pot and we're going to let this cook for three to four hours until the oxtail is fall off bone ready and then we're going to start assembling our lasagna so the oxtail is cool and ready and now i'm just going to debone the oxtail and get it ready for our lasagna so i fish deboning the oxtail and added it back to the the sauce that's in the pot So I have my pot ready here for our lasagna noodles. So I'm just waiting for it to boil before I add the noodles to the pot. I'm just going to return the oxtail to the bowl. So our pot is ready for noodles. assembling everything um my oven is already preheated to 375 degrees so i did that before i added the noodles to the, the pot of water so our noodles are ready So I have my noodles, my oxtail, and my cheese. And that's basically all you need. So, so I don't know what happened to the camera just now. It just stopped recording and doing its own thing. But anyways, 
I start by putting um, the lasagna noodles on the bottom. Then I'm going to start putting the oxtail in. that out and then add our cheese on top of that then we go ahead with our noodles again Deal. And just keep repeating this process until everything is complete. For some strange reason, the phone kept stopping while I'm recording, so um, this is the end. I'm now going to bake this for 25 minutes covered, and then I'm going to remove the foil paper and bake it for another 5 minutes. So it's going to be a total of 30 minutes to bake this, so stick around for the finished product, guys. 25 minutes is up. I'm now going to take... put this back inside the oven to bake for another five minutes so five minutes up we need to remove our lasagna If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, this was a really quick and easy recipe. Um, if you want, you can do the oxtail the traditional way. You don't have to do it in the red wine sauce, but I just chose to do it like that. It has been about 20 minutes or more. So I feel like that it's ready for cooking now. It's set properly so time for me to dig in And there you have it guys, my oxtail lasagna.